I'm Pete. I'm the director of Young Gun Studio. Uh, I also founded Young Gun Studio. I, on the side, I have my own art practice. Yeah, so when I first moved to Canada, it was not a decision that I had an active choice in, obviously. Uh, everything happened very, very quickly. For a long, long time, probably for the first four years, um, when I was trying to learn the language, uh, yes, I had ESL, but aside from ESL and aside from math, which I was obviously, being an Asian kid, I was really good at that. <laughs> uh, I, I just drew. You know, like I would have assignment sheets and I would draw. I would like take out my own sketchbook and I would draw. So I really found that it gave me an identity. Art gave me my identity. And art wasn't anything that I was exceptionally talented in. But I think through that uh, circumstance, uh, it, it did give me uh, a lot of purpose. When I was in college, I had this opportunity at the time to coach uh, this, my first student basically, uh, through what it's like to make an art portfolio. Uh, my dad was the one who gave me the opportunity. And that I found was uh, a very interesting experience. I wouldn't say it was very fulfilling, but it was just interesting. It was nice to work with someone to pass on my knowledge. Uh, so then after that experience, my dad approached me again a couple months later he pitched this idea to me of, hey, do you want to open up your own shop? Hey, do you want to start your own art, art studio? Uh, so that eventually gave path to me trying it out. If someone has never heard of Young Guns and is interested in joining, um, I would say if you're looking for something very like self-directed and um, wanting to develop your artistic skills while um, having like a bigger vision for what you want to do and be as a creator, then I think Young Guns really helps facilitate that. YGS is more like a community environment more than anything. I think we do help with helping them with applications and portfolios and things like that, but I think we try to facilitate more like the relationships that happen here um, and help with their foundational skills and just basically building up their expertise. I think there can be a lot of like pressures that come with, um, you know, applying for schools and, and universities and um, some of that filters through into the studio. But I think the heart and core of where it's at is really trying to fuel and funnel down your own passions uh, and what you want to make and create as an artist or designer. Junior, senior year, high school, or grade 11, grade 12, was just the time when I was also coming into my own as a person and figuring out what I want to do in life and just having other creatives to talk to that are my same age and also like creatives that are further along in their professional journey was immensely helpful. I was honestly with every project, there's a bit of challenge in the beginning. Sometimes this challenge is a bit conflicting where it can be a bit painful in the process as an artist who just really wants to pump out portfolio pieces and who's like simultaneously maybe a bit stressed about college applications. I think it was either the last summer program that I did 
uh, where we had to make like a whole design and everything uh, within a week. And I kind of screwed myself a little bit uh, by deciding to go, you know what, I'm gonna make like a life-size prototype and everyone else had like the little things. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I didn't sleep for a couple of nights. I had just pulled an all-nighter and then I came back um, and I think Cindy came up to me and was like, oh yeah, you have like 20 something hours to finish this. And I was like, oh, yeah. And like all my stuff was like still in pieces. I have not sewn anything together. Um, I had like dyeing and everything to do. So I was like, that was probably like a lot of pressure and it was kind of crazy. At, at least in the beginning, I sort of had an idea of what my pieces wanted to look like even before I signed with them. And so what would happen is in the middle of creating that piece, I would get frustrated because it didn't turn out how I wanted it to. With each piece, it was really just Pete um, really digging into the ideas I gave them and not hesitating to critique every potential um, point I would ring up or thought I had and really evaluating if this was something that was maybe worthwhile or he thought would be helpful to my growth as an artist or if he would catch on that I was really just defaulting to what like I was comfortable with and point that out to me and um, ultimately tell me you can do better. I think the biggest thing was the fact that everyone else was also here. Something else that also helped a lot was the environment that the, my friends around me, I could see them going through the same struggle. Like it wasn't just me like struggling alone trying to get this done. Like everyone else was also like grinding their stuff out. And seeing them struggle and seeing them overcome that and seeing them like succeed with their pieces helped me, I, I guess, like find hope in, in myself doing the toes. So. If they're doing it, then I think I can do it too. And like if I can do it, I think they can do it also. In terms of like bigger life lessons versus like technical skills at studio, I feel like mostly what I learned from studio was the bigger life lessons. I think the greatest thing that Young Gun Studios has taught me, and this is gonna sound really corny, but I think it's community. Um, I think I would not have been able to develop like the same way I did if I was just like by myself doing my own thing in my basement. Naturally, when you make something, you get feedback from people around you. You get feedback from the, the staff here and you get feedback from your peers. When I'm creating these pieces, the, the feedback that I get really helps me. And so I can apply that to other parts of like, I guess, life. And like, I learned that, you know, accepting feedback and being able to receive it and, and use it to, to help me out in the long run is a skill that I learned. I think that it comes from art, but I think is helpful in general. Mm -hmm. I think some of the biggest approaches to life that I've learned here are really the social aspect. Um, first of all, this being at Yemen really taught me that um, art is not, like no man is an island and anything, including ranging from art to just like honestly living life in general is not a lonely process. A big part of how I've developed as an artist is just like being in the studio and like seeing how other people work, seeing how, you know, all the staffs work. Uh, and just kind of like taking little influences from like both their style and like their, their work habits and like technical skills and all of that. And I think that's really helped to make me like a more well-rounded person. A lot of the times having someone to talk to really just helps like change your change your view because there's so many different students and like staff here who have very unique perspectives that they bring to whether it's making a new piece of art or honestly lifestyle or where the best coffee in town is or whatever it might be. I never really fully understood how much they helped me. Um... I think everyone who's left the studio after graduation and walked back through these doors at some point can say like with full confidence that what all the teaching staff here have done have really shaped who we are and inspired us to see the world in a specific way. When I was like actually here like doing all my stuff, I was maybe like a little bit too in it to realize and I was like, okay, you know, I need to do this. Uh, okay, I need help with this. I'm gonna go ask James for help and I'm gonna go back to go and you know, do my thing. Like, 
getting to talk to the staff members, not just about what they have to offer about my piece, but also about their studio lives, their professional practices. We have a lot of conversations. Sometimes it's about um, the work that we do. Sometimes it's just random conversations. And when we talk, it's often, there's often little sprinklings of, of advice or, or stories and experience that they get from uh, where they've come from. And I think that what I want to say is that I, I really appreciate these pieces of advice and I think it stays with us longer than you might think. And we really take it into heart because we, we really respect and look up to me. I think something I wish um, I would like to remind or, or tell our students is not to worry so much. There are so many and too many pressures that they're probably facing in the world right now, um, or from family or from uh, school or, or, or whatsoever. And the most important thing, if not the only important thing, is to do what you love. The first impression I had of YGS was pretty much like, I wish I had this <laughs> in high school. Um, I know YGS existed when I was in high school, but the students have the opportunity here, the space to actually explore things that the traditional high school art system might not let you. So I think that's fascinating because there's enough room for like flexibility here. There are so many ways in which like, I feel hopeful about the future because I see these students like putting in so much and really making work that is not only important, but pushes the boundaries of um, what art can be. Even though they're young, they're still talking about things that bother them, the memories that they're trying to like illustrate. They're talking about like people who've inspired them also. Um, and I think that's actually quite energizing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really glad to have been a part of that in some small way. <laughs>